Thank you. My name is Cynthia Crook Pig of Harrisville, Rhode Island. I'm going to speak plainly, Madam Chair and fellow members. You have observed and heard the residents of our town. I'm sure it's very clear to you and the members of the board that this project is not being promoted or accepted by the citizens of Bargo. You are charged with weighing the potential benefits of this power plant against a multitude of impending issues. Hazards of pollutants that will make it impossible to meet the CO emissions of the Resilient Rhode Island Act. Noise decibel levels that will not meet town ordinances. The potential disaster of piping MTBE contaminated water through our community and leaking into our water sources. Eradication of over 200 acres of forest. Hazardous chemicals, storage of ammonium, hydrogen, and oil on the proposed facility, with no emergency disaster plan in place. The displacement of over 165 wildlife species, including two threatened species. The state of Rhode Island can enforce the protection of the piping clover on our beaches, but yet we can displace the threatened species and wildlife here simply overlooked in this project? Seems like a bit of a controversy, wouldn't you agree? And that, Madam Chair, is the heart of the matter. The fact that the board is the only entity allowed to make this decision goes against every fundamental principle on which this country was built, on which the Constitution was created, and the principles by which you have thought the entire direction of the world. Therein lies the issue, Madam Chair. We are being denied due process. I know that you are aware of the definition, but if I may share for the attendees. It is the legal requirement that the state must respect all legal rights that are owed and balances the power of law of the land and protects the individual person from it. Where are our legal rights? Where are the legal rights of Rhode Island? Barbara? Are they being considered? The people of Barville are not getting the honest facts and feel we are being misled down a path of destruction, deceit, and desecration of this beautiful town. Our town. Our homes. My home. We are taught to avoid destructive, unhealthy situations. Yet we stand here, waiting in line for five minute opportunity to share and plead our most precious thoughts and objections about this power plant proposal. You and your fellow members would have the same objection if this request was being asked of you and your families, children, and grandchildren. Would you like this in your backyard? I don't think so. Then you make your final decision, Madam Chair and Board. There is only one requirement about which you should be concerned. There is no compromise when it comes to public safety. None. Will you protect us, Madam Chair and Board? Will you? Thank you.